Hi, I'm Brian Fletcher from Allaire Homes, South Etobicoke, and I wanted to show you one of our most recent jobs that we completed this year uh, in the area of South Etobicoke. So this here is an, uh, an addition that we built. The existing house actually stopped at this point here, and we built from here forward, and you can see the beautiful family room that we built with lots of windows going across the back, the, uh, the walkout door that's leading into the backyard. We even included a little powder room bathroom sitting here, and the bathroom is so that you know the kids can come in through the back door and they can instantly just go right into the bathroom and they're not worried about them walking through the whole house trying to get to the bathroom. Um, we, we added these five solar uh, tubes up on the ceiling. You can see the amount of natural sunlight that they give in. They're not skylights, they're called solar tubes and uh, adds a really nice touch to the, the room um, and just enhances the whole feel of the, the addition. As mentioned before, this used to be a masonry wall. There used to be a little window here that went into the, uh, the existing dining room. We took out all the masonry, put a steel beam in to support the existing structure upstairs. Uh, really great project, a lot of fun to do. We had the same experience over here in the kitchen where the masonry had to all come out and the steel all get put through to support the, the second floor. Uh, as you walk through this whole area, by tying this all together, we had little moldings that we had to add to bring it back to the original state that the, uh, that the room was at. Um, all new hardwood throughout, uh, casings and baseboards to match the existing home. Um, just trying to make this uh, very traditional looking home, keeping the traditional thoughts in mind. As we start to move outside, you're going to start to notice there's more of a contemporary feel, a more modern feel to the addition. So it's really interesting to see the, the traditional feel on the inside of the house versus the uh, contemporary uh, feel on the exterior. I was just wanting to point out to you the, uh, the fact of how close the neighbors were to our, our addition that we had to build. We're probably like around the two feet away, a little bit more than that. And one of the biggest challenges is, is we were digging our basement deeper than their basement. So instantly we got to be concerned about how the neighbor's foundation is going to um, handle us working so close to it. So we brought engineers in to make sure that we're protecting our clients as well as the neighbors, engineers from structural so that we could do uh, underpinning and bench footing. And we also brought soil testing engineers in to, to make sure that the soil consistency was proper so that we could do everything that we were hoping to achieve. Um, another major thing was, was working with a driveway that was a mutual driveway. We were, we were working directly with the next door neighbors in trying to develop uh, a timeline so that we can come in and we can do our work and still give them the access that they needed to get up and down their drive. As we walk through here, we renovated this bathroom, uh, new tile floors, tub, tiles on the walls, new fixtures. Um, and as we walk through here, this is the, uh, a new doorway. You'd notice that we kept the existing doors, rehung them to keep everything in, in symmetry and looking great and the way it always has been in the home. Uh, matching baseboards with, with existing baseboards. In the bedroom, they decided to paint them instead of stain. They stained them all out in the hall, but we started painting inside the, uh, the bedroom. As we walk through, here's the ensuite. The ensuite, again, is all brand new with, with uh, vanity, um, windows, trim. You notice the uh, architrave or the trim around the windows, how we got the head and all the moldings to match the existing look. Um, just to make it all look like, where did we stop and start? As we walk into the bathroom, you'll notice that there's a shower stall with a glass, uh, glass doors and then a great looking seat. Um, a built in niche for the shampoos. And uh, if I can find a light switch here, let me turn it on, there we go. And there's the, uh, the bathroom all, all done up. We, this, this doorway uh, could be sealed off at the top. Some people like to have steam showers so that could be done very easily by putting a steam unit in and it could have been a nice add-on. As we walk through this way here, you'll notice that this is again where the, the old masonry wall used to be. And this is now new walk-in closet. Bedroom starts here. That's where the shower is behind that, tucked away in the corner of the master bedroom. And now this is the master bedroom. Overlooking the backyard, lots of windows. Um, bit of a flat roof on the other side of the windows, which creates that canopy look that you'll see 
when we start doing the uh, exterior photographs.